In this art history video, we'll take a closer look at the artist Amadeo Modigliani and his artistic influences. Modigliani was an Italian Jewish artist born in Tuscany in 1884. Modigliani was an expressionist artist. He focused on making abstract art that had an emotional quality. Modigliani lived a short life and died at the age of 35 and would create few works of art during his lifetime. Unfortunately, Modigliani's misfortune started early on. He was born into a bankrupt family and suffered from a lung condition called pleurisy at the age of 10, and then later contracted typhoid fever and tuberculosis as a teenager. Despite his illnesses, Modigliani was fascinated by art at an early age. Sick in bed, Modigliani raved to his mother that he wanted to see the Palazzo Pitti in the Uffizi in Florence. Once he was well, his mother not only took him there herself, but also enrolled him to study with the painting master, Guillermo Michelli, at the age of 14. While Modigliani did continue to suffer from illness during his life, he began to create art fervently and develop a different approach to art. He pulled from different influences and incorporated his own ideas. Modigliani worked and lived in Paris much of his life where he befriended and worked with artists such as Pablo Picasso and Constantine Brancusi. Unlike the Impressionist artists of the time, Modigliani preferred to paint indoors and focused mainly on portraits. He and his contemporaries shared a fascination with Expressionist and abstract approaches to art, but also with non-Western art. African art and masks would influence Modigliani as well as his contemporaries such as Picasso and Brancusi. So why was African art so influential? African art came onto the scene in Europe in the late 19th century during colonialism and exploratory expeditions to Africa. Collectors started to bring masks back from Europe and sell different artifacts in flea markets. Egyptian art, and especially African masks, had an exotic appeal but were also considered primitive and tribal, intriguing many artists. Modigliani was inspired by the masks and created similar facial forms in his own sculptures, as well as paintings. African masks were often used as relics or as part of rituals. Their facial forms were abstracted and the masks also had a functional purpose and spiritual significance. In fact, the masks had a deeply spiritual meaning in some African cultures, where the wearer of the mask would take on the spirit represented by the mask and lose his or her identity. Color could also symbolize meaning, red for life or black for death, for example, and even relate to past ancestors. To what degree artists during the time understood the significance of African art is hard to know, but we do know that the Expressionist artists were fascinated with African masks and looked for ways to incorporate influences of African art in their own art. The influence of African masks is clear in Modigliani's portraits. His subjects' faces are mask-like, with elongated necks, angular noses, sharp chins, almond-shaped eyes, and button-shaped mouths and also evident in his sculptures. Modigliani's art is simple but noble and conveys something deeper about the personality of his subjects behind their masks, with an almost spiritual quality. Now unfortunately, like many other modern artists during the early 20th century, Modigliani's art was not well received during his lifetime and he would never know financial success as an artist. Modigliani's work has become some of the most influential and respected art of our time. His sculptures are among the most valuable of all sculptures in history. His Tet limestone carving is one of the most expensive sculptures ever sold. Modigliani's ability to incorporate the past with the present and to convey emotion in his stoic subjects continues to amaze and inspire us. Now let's take what we've learned about Amadeo Modigliani and make our own art. 